Hi all, I'm Arvind Panian. Once again, welcome to our video. So in this video, we're gonna see one stock that supports a lot in manufacturing, which could grow along with our Indian economy. And also you're gonna learn something new and uh, which could help you in potentially identifying golden stocks and so on. So stay connected till the end so you understand and learn everything. Let's start one by one. If you're new to our channel, visiting for the first time, you should know we make videos on gem up gem stocks which are at a low value and we could use the potential to buy them and have good benefits on the long run or a short term period this is what we do if you are interested don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get all our videos thank you so let's start with the first talk so the first talk is mrs Bector Sport Specialties Limited. So this is, this is a learning stock. I wanted to show you why this is important to understand uh, how the shareholding pattern looks and how we could predict earlier and invest at right time and so on. So let's start that. If you look at a one week chart, it has been rising 6.7%, which is good. And in one month period, it has been making a kind of U-turn, right? And then if you look at one year, it has been raising like this. That is also good. If you look at five years chart, then you will understand the stock has been corrected and then it started to rise. So how much did it make the full fall? So it made a fall from its peak to its bottom of 56. So as I usually used to tell, 60 to 60% 60 is a normal fall on an extreme condition. It could go to 70 or 80. That's very worse conditions. Only a death uh, filled company would go to 80%. Max, a very good stock. I have not seen 60, 65 mm, to, the, to the max it could go. Not beyond that. So that is a good place to accumulate. What has happened with this stock? Let's see. Look at this shareholding pattern. Suddenly in December month, the foreign institutions jumped in to buy. Look at the level they have jumped in to buy. But before that, the mutual funds have started accumulating. Look at this. So from 4% to 11% direct jump, this is what it shows. When did it happen? On June month. And let me quickly go up here. When did this change happen? June month. So do you understand the uh, you know, comparison between both? So what has happened? Why it has happened? So it did not happen at one point. It just started accumulating little by little and they are still doing it. Okay. So this is what I wanted to show you. Again, this is a very good stock. You have to wait for its correction. We'll make a video, different video. When it corrects, then you could start accumulating it. What does it do? It makes biscuits and breads varieties. These are the different products they, they hold in their portfolios. And uh, the other thing I wanted to show you. So even holding one person in this bigger market, and they are also competing well, that I see as a very boss, positive thing for this particular company. I would like to show you other factors also. So they export more than 22%. So this is their breakup structure. Domestic biscuits, they have like 37%. And branded bakery, they have 17%. So these are the rest of things. They have a breakup on, on their products, uh, on how they do. Okay. So the next talk um, I want to discuss is RHA Magnesia. Okay. And the reason I talked about the previous talk is to give you an understanding on how the stocks progresses, how it gives us a benefits and the patience is all required. It doesn't happen in a few, few days or few um, weeks. It needs patience and you earn after that. Okay. Now coming to the next talk, RHA Magnesia India. Uh, look at this. It has corrected nicely. And this is where I feel good about this stock and it could correct some more also as per the chart but you have to wait and see i'll i'll talk more about it when i come to technical charts okay and um, the other thing i want to highlight about this company is what does it do why is it most important we will discuss about that also so this company is very much important because this company uh, allows different companies to maintain their manufacturing place with a high temperature industrial processes. So it builds up a particular process for them, which helps these companies to maintain certain degrees, which, uh, which they use to make different products. Okay. And uh, if you look at this, refractory products are used in the world high temperature industrial processes. 
without them the steel cement lime non ferrous metal glass energy environment and chemical industries could not exist that's an important point so you know now the Im very importance of this particular company okay now coming to the you know the shareholding pattern that's most important right now we know how much important is this company and we have to know now how much percentage of market share does it hold in india or in a global field so we know what kind of company we are investing in okay so this is a breakup if you look at here um, i think it has 15 percent in global and uh, 15 percent in indian market also so all good so far what kind of industries do they work with that's also most important to understand they are they are working with cement energy and chemistry foundry glass lime non-ferrous paper bulk uh, and steel okay good and now i like to show you the shareholding pattern of this particular company so foreign institutions have decreased it a bit as we could see on jan quarter we saw that because they have been increasing in december and then they have been reducing upcoming quarters we don't know how the changes would be so they have been decreased in uh, by mutual funds also from eight to 6.99 that is around seven percent so they have been in decrease will there be an increase we don't know but the chart uh, talks that could be some more fall but as we cannot time the market I would recommend that we buy at some quantity at some price i'll show you in detail and then you could start accumulating little by little averaging a bit then you are at the right spot okay and um, some more details about this company higher than industry revenue goal higher than uh, industry net income increasing market share so those three are very good points for this company and uh, their EBITDA has been very good that i like it very much and their revenue also been increasing their payout it's not too bad it's good to have some dividends that's also best i would say and uh, now you would ask me so many questions why i why did i pick this particular company at this particular time isn't it there have been a lot of talks lot of talks around india at this particular point some might have already heard about it but i like to show you some detailed uh, glitches at uh, different uh, uh, places where people are talked a lot about indian growth let's start that look at this india to chip in of uh, pact with the us may fill the world's semiconductor gap this is one news and then china and, uh, and india will take over us economy by 2075 that's long way but it has been said by goldman sachs and india may become the third largest economy by 2030 overtaking japan and germany this was also in the latest news and another news india on a 25 trillion dollar economy path tata sun's chairman we know this guy he's famous we have been covering tata a lot and we made a good money also and another article in here which is the 10 trillion dollar story is not for us so far saurabh mukherjee he is also a famous investor we know about him so he also talks about the growth opportunities can india become a developed economy now we are in a growing economy we know that and uh, once it goes into a developed economy phase then there is not much to obtain as a share right that's what happens in uh, us and uh, japan market you cannot expect uh, just like it happens in india 100% 200% share jump in uh, so that's what is happening in india and you have to utilize it when it comes to manufacturing i picked some companies that's what i'm gonna share in upcoming days and um, so you also benefit the growth that india could make and in here there is one more article i would little bit deep dive into it because you have to understand we're gonna beat china that's what uh, some of the articles defines so what does it mean what uh, by beating because uh, uh, the the angster groups in india by 2050 or 2030 they be gonna have long or more um, work working group than china and we gonna improve a lot and um, our manufacturing hub gonna become much more bigger so what does it mean like uh, what does it mean we have bigger work group and higher number of engineering and uh, uh, high educated engineers come out of our countries right so we gonna contribute a lot to this development that's what i assume and in china what is going to happen is like the the major workforce they have 
is gonna fell down is gonna reduce because the workforce the younger workforce they would not have that many in the future and we gonna suppress them by uh, uh, overtaking in population also so we gonna overtake china that's what all the statistics claims and going forward and other points i want to highlight also so like this so india will be one of the only three uh, economies in the world that can generate more than 400 billion annual economic output growth by 2023 onwards so it going to go till 2028 which they are expecting to 500 billion wow dollars that's huge and another statistics by uh, again morgan stanley they say currently the indian uh, gdp is 15.6 they are expected to grow by 21% by 2031 so these all going to be contributed by manufacturing industries in india so that's why it's wise enough to pick some good shares which going to contribute or act as a proxy companies and help us grow along with them isn't it okay coming to the chart so why do i feel some more um, fall is could be expected look at this when it has broken this um, this particular line in a short term i would expect it to fall uh, you still have these many chances it could it could stop somewhere uh, if you are lucky it could turn from here then we are super lucky the, then we are made at the right point entry uh, if it's falling also then you still uh, get a chance to average and um, get much more benefit out of it isn't it so do not worry just start accumulating it because it's a very good share very good uh, uh, proxy company this is as per my analysis do your own analysis also please before investing and thanks for watching the whole video with your patience and this is the patience we need for stock market also and um, appreciate it give us a thumbs up and uh, do not forget to subscribe and uh, please hit the bell icon also thank you see you next video until then take care bye